So this is the Karchir K5 model and I will try to open this machine to see what my problem is and how I can solve it. The problem in short term is that the machine seems to be working. I see no leakages at all, but uh, it will not uh, achieve a high pressure. It just washes with a almost a normal pressure, but I can hear the engine is starting. Um, water supply is okay and so on. So I suspect we have an issue with the water pump, the high pressure pump. So let's open it and see if we can solve the problem. Um, it's quite easy to open up and to see, to have a look what's going on. But since we have no leakage right now, I don't expect to find any visible leakages inside. So opening this is quite easy. You can just remove the, the, the wheels by removing the center cap and to ply, pry them off. You have some screws at behind some of these eight four on each side and you have two Phillips screws uh, handling the handlebar. And that's basically it. Let's open up and have a look. Carefully remove that part and also this lower part here. Just a couple of taps with a rubber hammer and here we go. Then we can first you just have to unscrew the adapter for the hose connection because you have to lift the whole engine out of this uh, compartment. And next one is to remove the wheels. That's quite easy. Then with a screwdriver at the other part. Yank that out, and this works as a locking me mechanism for the rest of the wheel. So again, just take the rubber hammer, and here we go. Do that on both sides. Use your drill with a Torx T15 on the four screws on each side. And then also you have to remove the two screws in here for the handlebar. That's a regular Phillips screw. So let's have a look at the inside here. So when opening this up, here we have the uh, the inside of the unit. Um, let's start with following the water intake, which is below here. So this is the intake. Um, the water will just flow through this pipe here up to this compartment and this is actually the the electrical motor inside here is the rotor that will kind of uh, power the whole unit so the water is flowing here to cool this part down it goes back here again and into the high pressure pump which is here so do not open the top lid here at all that will just expose the electrical component of the motor and you should not mess with that so i think you can just focus on the pump at least if the problem is like loss of power or leakages or so this part and this part this can easily be exchanged um, and also maybe um, this which is the switch but for me I'll focus on this part and I'll open four of these bolts and you can basically lift the whole thing out of the compartment when you have it like this so now I have just uh, remove these uh, bolts so we can just see how this uh, unit works so trying to kind of uh, disassemble the parts this is this top is my pumping house that I just uh, exp will explain how to open um, and below here 
we have a unit with the pistons and inside here we have this kind of plate which is moving um, in a kind of diagonal way so it will vibrate kind of kind of like this when the engine is spinning making these pistons move up once at a time so they will move up from here into the pump and taking the low pressure water from inside the left here and make the high pressure inside the pump and giving high pressure out here so when this is uh, when I'm kind of mounting this together again it's really important to have some engine oil up in here and I was told that you can use regular like 1030 1540 some regular mineral engine oil for your good old uh, car or you can use some Vaseline as well but it has to be oiled unless or greased unless it will be warm and it will stop working and of course breaking the whole thing working with these units it's um, it's a bit hard because of this shape here it is hard to kind of get stable on the, on my working bench so a small hack is to use a roll of tape a scotch tape and then we can just place this part inside this tape roll and voila here we have a quite good stable uh, arrangement so i can work on the pump at the top here uh, without uh, damaging anything or getting it uh, unstable so this is the pumping house um, this is the high pressure end of it and the pistons are working into these uh, holes and valves and I suspect that I have a problem within this house so you can open this by prying it it's kind of two parts it's not welded together or anything it's just the rubber ceilings that are holding these together so you can try to pry it open like this and here we have the two parts and here you can see the valves when the pistons are coming from the pump in here they will work on the valves at this side and probably there are some problems between the high pressure side in here and the low pressure side in here and after some investigations i think i found the problem and it's probably not that easy to see on the camera but right here you can see a small crack in the plastic between the high pressure side and the low pressure side so that is probably uh, the reason for my pressure washer that it will not um, gain the high pressure when using it so you can order this part on uh, Kaiser online and I just did and here I have the, the new part so let's open that and see how it looks so my conclusion was that I need a new pump and I can order this here I have um, you can go into catch it online on this address I'll link to that in the description and there you will find drawings like this um, but the secret is to actually take a picture of your machine I've got my unique number and you can key in this part number on the catch website and then it will show you all the available parts i googled a lot and i found that if it's lacking pressure it has to be something with this uh, pumping head so i ordered that and i just picked it up at my dealership this is the number that i got so let's see if i open this uh, machine up if i can replace my old pump head with a new one and see how it works so this is the new new part it's an original cashier part it says the part number made in italy and uh, i was told when i bought this at my local dealership that uh, this is an improved part it's better than the previous one 
and the reason for that is that this is in aluminum compared to the old one which is in plastic so the crack that I have in my left one here um, will probably not reappear in the new one of course unless I get water in it and it gets frozen during the winter and so on so let's try to fit this in and see how it works this is the old part and this is the new one and we can see that it comes with a new gasket that should be in between here and also some plastic uh, this uh, are the same as the old ones which is here which is in uh, some kind of yellow plastic so I'll just replace this with the, the new one just pry it open and you can put the new ones inside and it doesn't seem to have any specific, specific uh, pattern so just press it down seems that, that that works so I'll do that on all three and then try to have the house the on the top installed and the old ones here and now, now let's have a look at this this part here and uh, this uh, this gasket here it should actually be fitted into this part and here you can see that we have the old one here I'll just take that off it seems pretty okay but I think it's a good idea to replace it with the new one and the important part here when you're placing it in is to make sure that you don't roll it it has to be put together so it will kind of glide in but do not roll it if you roll it it will get stressed and you can have a leakage and you have to do the whole press again so that should be okay make sure to not damage the seal of course and now let's try to fit them together and the only way oh yeah also the big gasket which is already in place on my new pump here so also make sure that it looks okay and make sure that you have uh, the old gasket from the old part is still here so you don't have a double gasket if it's stuck in here so I do not have that so it's okay now let's try to just pry them together just press it firm together like this and here you have the new house mounted and now let's try to put it up on the pump itself it only fits one way and it's like this so make sure to have this uh, low pressure side fitted into this part make sure to have oil and grease below the pistons here and then fit the bolts in let's try to do that it's really hard to film and to do this all together so i'll try to put it on my my camera stand here let's see we're putting this all together and uh, make sure to have this rubber ceiling here uh, connected to the electrical switch so when you're fitting this in that will fit tightly into this little pin here and this is actually a quite clever uh, mechanism because uh, the way this works is that uh, when you get high pressure inside the pump it's a little pin coming out of here and that little pin will go into this hole in the electrical uh, switch so when the pressure is high enough it will stop the pump from uh, pumping and as soon as you're releasing the pressure for washing it will of course decrease the pressure and the pin will pop up and the pump will start working so just make sure when you're putting this all together it's quite uh, it's not difficult but it's many things going on at the same, same time this has to go in here and it will fit into this one and make sure that it's in place when you're placing all the four bolts together while also having this fitted into here let's try so uh, here I found some uh, motor oil for my motorbike 1540 semi synthetic should be very okay to use this 
I don't know how much I'll use. Let's try to just, yeah, this should be plenty. Now, let's try to see how much all we should have in this compartment here. Um, just make sure that I will not lose these plastic ceilings at the top. Okay, let's put it off. And then, look in here. And this, this grease that you can see is here, that's uh, grease that is kind of uh, um, resistant to water and so on. So I don't know how much we will need. This seems to be okay when it's kind of, yeah, it's got colored, so that's okay. Now let's try to put this all together. Try to put my camera here and just to see how this works. The difficult part is that all these are kind of under pressure when I'm tightening the bolts because of the pistons and the springs, so it's a bit hard. But I think we can manage. Springs are there, and then this should work. Yeah, here we go. We are getting there. This should be okay actually. I'll try to put in a bolt. Just press these parts together so it will fit tightly and nice before putting the screws and the bolts back. And now at the very end, I cannot uh, make these any tighter using only my hands, so then it's kind of okay to put it on a ratchet and to just carefully, carefully tighten these four bolts corner by corner without over tightening it at all. We managed to put this all together, it should be fine. Remember to plug this uh, grounding cable as well with this small screw here. Just like this. And then what else? I think we are okay to put this back in the case of the washer and uh, see how that goes. Almost forgot. Remember these two, four, three small bolts here as well. Putting them in, in here. These needs to be connected as well. Of course. So here I have the three bolts and just tighten carefully so it will be tight this is the low pressure side so it shouldn't be 
it's, it's not that uh, much pressure inside, but still make sure that you are tightening good enough without over tightening at all. Like this. Now, let's put it put this back in the head unit and see. Before putting the unit back, make sure to to fit this uh, high pressure end on top because this will help you guide the whole pump back in the case. Just like this and tighten it nicely with the wrench. And now just before putting this all together, I just want to make sure that I do not have any leakages. So I connected the water, it's not turned on yet. I connected the high pressure hose here. And we have the power cord that will soon get power. Just to make sure that we do not have any leakages or anything else before starting. This is the moment of truth. Oh, it sounds okay. I have not turned on the power yet. It seems very dry. The only thing is here, but that's my hose. So that's not a problem at all. Okay, let's try to use this before putting on the power. Yes. Nothing going on at the pump. And now, moment of truth. Second time. Wow, it works. Let's see. Oh. It sure works. I can really feel the power of the the uh, water coming out and we have no leakages at all. Switch off and switch on. It fills up and yeah. Seems like this is going to be fine. So before putting this completely back, just remove the adapter for the hosing. So it will fit into the hole just like this. And then also, I'll try to put this back, it's really hard. Yeah, now we can see that thanks to this shape of this uh, connector to the high pressure it will align into these holes so it's exactly the correct placing of the pump water intake and make sure that the switch is connected you see that the switch here is now you can see it aligns quite quite good so then it's just to connect the hosing for the soap which is this one going under that will fit into here and then it's the wiring part fit it in here and then put on the top lid with the bolts and do not forget the screws the Phillips screws to the handle which is on top these are Phillips all the other ones having it together is Torx T15 so let's do that. So the most difficult part of putting this together is just that it's it's many parts uh, that needs to be aligned. It's not difficult at all, but this is the most tricky part, uh, and that is to have the top lid on top. Uh, of course, it's a bit awkward to film during this, but the main problem is this plastic hose to get this connected. I'm trying to use both my hands here, back at the inside of this lid and here we can see at the inside we have this little plug here and the hose will fit into that it's not long enough for connecting now so i have to put it together and then connect it but yeah i'll manage it's hard to film and when you are putting this together remember this uh, white isopor styrofoam thing with the guidance to the hoses 
I forgot that the first time so I had it had to do it twice. But yeah, let's try to put this together. Just like so, putting this back. Make sure that these plastics are also connected and like this. Now they are fitted and the screw holes are okay as well. The cable is here. Yeah, now it's just to put these back together. Be careful to use less power of your drill because this is just plastic. It will break right away if you're over tightening it with a drill. Oh no, finally we have something more, some more parts, but we have this uh, top, the handle. Just align it in and just press it nicely back and connect it with these Phillips to these screws. That's the first one, and then we have the second here, in with the screw, and then just tight it together. So let's test it again and make sure that you place this on a nice and dry surface. So you don't uh, have any water around because then you can see if this is leaking or not. Let's try. Ooh. And yeah, it's really a big difference. Now we have high pressure, so I would say the matrix is complete. The annoying part is that this part cost me about one-fifth of the value of the whole machine. But that is also the good part, that I was able to learn something and to do it yourself and to actually save a quite bunch of money. So, I hope you enjoyed it and happy washing!